Good morning, everybody. It's Lynn from A Bit of Bird Song. A few days ago, I got a notice in my email that my package was on the way. I thought, what package? It didn't have any sort of name on it. It had a California address, and it just never occurred to me until the package arrived that it was this journal coming back to me. Poetic Rust is a journal that I started last year, maybe the summertime, maybe August. I honestly don't remember. It is the first one that was bound with safety pins. It just occurred to me that it would be uh, really cool to do an open spine and to use fabric strips. I was going to sew them in, but I looked across the room and saw this pile of safety pins. I had been wanting to learn how to rust safety pins, paper clips that sort of thing, you know, beautiful, grungy rust. So I said, wow, well, I'm, I'm just gonna pin the signatures in to see how they look, and then I can sew them into place. But once I did that, it was so cool. I decided just to use the safety pins as a permanent binding. I kind of quit doing any videos on it because I wanted, hopefully, to get it published. And then when I got the journal back, I would do a final flip through, which is what I'm doing now. I love the cover. I was gonna do a crackle finish, and it, it did crackle a little bit, but not as much as I wanted it to. That said, I did like the effect, so I decided just to leave it, you know, the way it is. It looks sort of, um, it just looks old, and it almost looks like metal. My friend Gail gave me a package of tags that, that she purchased, and I just love these, and they fit right in. You can also see on the spine some rusty washers. I love to pick things like that up when I'm walking through parking lots, and then here is an old key on the outside that's definitely got some wear and some patina. Getting inside, I just decided to explore the color orange. I've never used a lot of orange either in my clothing or, you know, home decor or journals, art, anything except at Halloween. I think a lot of it is because I have sallow skin and I've never looked good, in my opinion, in yellow or orange, anything in that family. Although I'm trying to to overcome that and look for colors within that color scheme that, that do look okay on me because I do love colors. So let's just look at some of these pages. Again, it's been so long since I've seen them. I kind of forgot what all was in here. She says, I really wanted an orange wedding dress. I believe that page ended up in Stampington. There is a lot of artwork in this journal by Rosetti and I will put a link to some of some information about Rosetti. One of my favorite artists, and I know that there's just a lot of orange and red in some of his artwork. There's another by him. I love the old, the Tim Holtz cutouts, and there's just a little piece of metal with a stamp on it with some alcohol ink. Another stamp there this page. This is a really good example of how you can add to the pages in your art journals. I make the art journals and sell them in my shop that have the, uh, the pages are sewn in with fabric strips and the paper is all watercolor paper. You can just use masking tape or fabric to keep adding pages and make these wonderful flip outs, you know, and give yourself lots of room to create these large spreads with a theme or a large picture, one that's too big for just one page, like this. I love this picture. That is from an old hotel, I believe, in California. It was a mining town, and I've seen this room featured in different, like, magazine spreads and that sort of thing. It's just got a vibe that's, that's really, it just really draws you in. A lot of the ink came from the Tim Holtz Rusty Hinge, which was perfect for this journal. Jason asked me last night if I'm planning to sell this journal, and I said, I don't know. More flip out pages. You know, I could add more to this. Uh, I really wanted to, and there's just a, that has some rust stains on it from where I was learning to rust the safety pins. Different little art drawings and paintings. There's a little doll dress sewn to this page and an old watch face 
That could be sort of a pocket there. More mushrooms in here. That's some wallpaper that I thought was really pretty. That's part of a greeting card, the sort of binocular thing. I think there was an image behind it and it might have been a 3D card that you could open up and then look through those. And there we have another little drawing, more work by Rosetti. That picture was in the magazine. I love having these rusty safety pins throughout. I love that you can hang things on them. More work by Rosetti. Dear Rust, I am in love with you. This feels like a different journal to me. It's been so long since I've seen it. It's been half a year, at least, since I've seen this journal. She ended up in the magazine quite mad. Love the key here. More work by Rosetti. I put redhead number five. More work by Rosetti. And then we have this metal tag here. The little Tim Holtz die cut. This was just a beautiful charm that I found. This page was in the magazine as well. I remember these came from, I had started out with an original spread for this art journal, and then I changed my mind about it. And these had been on a different page, so I pulled them off of the page, and when I did, it pulled part of the paper with it, which gave these another layer and just so much more interest. And it says, you are art. So, you know, don't be afraid to tear things, to change your mind, to move things around. Uh, you may be surprised at what you end up with. Yeah, so this page was done back in August, August 3rd, 2020. And this page was in the magazine. What's here? Oh, uh, yeah. That was from some wallpaper. Oh, yeah, I remember this being a really large piece of wallpaper that I wanted to use. So I just <laughs> kept it full and made an accordion style page. I keep finding these little stickies with notes on them. It must be the notes they put in for publishing, which is so cool. For so long, the color orange was not even on my radar. And then I noticed it vibrant, warm, exciting. Orange began to make its way into my art, and now I have a beautiful new color as my friend. And then, what do we have? That's a picture. Where did I get that? I can't remember if I took that on one of our walks, or if that is one that was from my collection. More work by Rosetti. And there's an old ledger page. Of course, some corrugated cardboard. And if you look under here, there's more. That page started out differently, and I changed my mind about it and just went right over the top of it with something else. Do not be afraid to do that. I definitely think there is room to add to this. Well, I know there is. Um, the question is, and there's a little button card. The question is, do I want to do that? you know, since it was published like it is, and who knows. Kind of like my big blue journals. I go back to them and add things all the time, so wouldn't be a bad thing to add to this. And then here we are at the back. So that is the Poetic Rust journal as it was mailed to Stampington. And so grateful to have been published. That was just such an honor. I love their magazines. I'm always buying them. They just have the most gorgeous photography and amazing ideas. It is not unusual for me to go back 10 or 15 years and look for an idea 
for inspiration today. I hope you all enjoyed this flip through. Thank you so much for being here. Bye for now.